Welcome back. Park City, the Park City Follies. It is a thing that we have here in PC, and it is a yearly ritual that people look forward to next year, even while it's going on right now. That's how much fun the Follies is. My guest this morning is a fellow who is instrumental and without whom the Follies simply could not go forward. A wonderful group of people each and every year, but this guy is the glue that sticks it all together. Paul Tan. Hi, brother. Hello there. Good morning. Good to see you. The glue that sticks it all together. Hmm. Is that fair? Yeah, it's... Um, you're the guy. It would look a lot different if I wasn't involved. And, and the irony of that is I keep it almost like in check in a sense. Hmm. The, the Follies has become so popular that it could kind of run its own course and continue to grow. And the Egyptian would probably like that. But we want it to be so local and have such local people that we have to contain it in a sense to keep it local. I always compare it to something like a um, Park Silly Market, where it started very local. Now it's kind of, hey, let's get out of Salt Lake on Sundays. It's so hot. And, right. it's, and it's grown, to, which is probably all good for Park Silly Market. That's not something we want the Follies. If, if you live more than 10 miles outside of the epicenter of Park City, <laughs> you kind of start to not get the Follies a little bit. Yeah. So it's a, it's a true local event for locals put in the time of year when generally only locals are around the end of April. Right. Um, we, we have visitors come and see it, but they're always nudging their neighbor going, what was that? What I, was that? Can you explain that to me later? It's what what did that mean? I mean, it's designed to be funny in general, which it is, but then uh, a lot of name dropping and localisms. We don't go down the national politics route and kind right. of some of the easy pickings out there. It's just not, yeah. um, it's not Park City local, so. I probably said local 15 times right there, but I, I did that for a reason. Um, Absolutely. I did that on purpose. Well, and I think that that's a really great philosophy to have because, first and foremost, the, the way that you're putting it on is I mean, there's a lot of really gifted people, mm -hmm. but people are, are giving up their time right. to be a part of it. And I, it seems to me as though if you tried to do, like you say, if you tried to do national politics or something like that, it's like, okay, now how are we any different from some company who's doing satire in Salt Lake City or something right. like that and it loses that that specificity to this place and the fact that as we were just discussing with Charlie who right another another who's of been our, in the follies a few times yeah us, one of our great local stalwart characters in our community that that serves who we are and what our identity is and that to me is the thing that is well, great about that choice and both internally and externally in a sense the the cast is so local and we're such friends and it's, right. and it's such a, a family really and that's always the first priority of the follies in a sense is the the togetherness that we share and how much fun we have together and oh by the way we put on a great show that people want to pay money to see right uh, charlie's a good example too of someone who you know, the time it takes is about three weeks. We, people don't realize we only rehearse nine nights to put this on. Um, but we have a lot of people that can't commit to that kind of time. They're busy, they, they run businesses, et cetera. So we do spoof videos. And Charlie, that's how he's been in the Follies, is he's shown up many years in different spoof videos, almost always playing himself. Uh -huh. um, a lot of people, <laughs> we get actors to spoof someone else or play right. someone else. Right. But he's such a great character in town and so recognizable that he always plays himself. <laughs> and um, so he's been in over the years, uh, and, and, the, and the videos have worked so well to bring the mayor, a couple different mayors, uh, right. different people that run nonprofits. They're just too busy to be on stage, but then show up in the video. So it's been a great vehicle. It's perfect to get combination. Other yep, yep, it's and really it's a fun. nice, it, it kind of uh, mixes it up a little bit, format-wise, when you're, when you're doing the actual show. Yeah, it's not just a vignette. stage show. You know, yeah. just stage shows can sometimes be a little bit too stagey, in a sense, for lack of a better <laughs> term. But when we throw in the spoof songs and the videos, and it's always topical to what's happening in Park City, um, it becomes a real uh, high-paced, high-energy, uh, recognize people on stage. Mm -hmm. You know, I always say the Follies is really, the community and the, the audience and on stage is the same. We're really the same thing. It, it's, it's different than watching, you know, a Christmas carol at, 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 in the wintertime at yeah. near Christmas. It's, you're watching the show put on and you're, you're going into their world where the Follies really is an intermixing of locals and who's on stage is kind of the same thing. 
and um, be so it's a neat energy like that. The semi-permeable membrane. Yeah, it's not quite the wall. fourth wall, right? It's it's the it's the fourth wall with a big door in it, <laughs> <laughs> or a window right. that hasn't That's been cleaned right. I'm very walk well. Through, I'm going to do my bit, and then I'm going to walk back out and sit back into the it's audience. It's like a screen door. I love it. How about that? That's with great. a dog door in the bottom. That's great. We got some video. Do we do? I think so. We have some. We have I, some video. I, oh, that I'd be love to see this. Wait, <laughs> wait. We what we do is we do record it every year. Yes. Um, I always warn people that a stage show is um, it's hard to watch on video because it's the energy of the audience that really. It's not yes. like a movie where you're sitting in the in the audience of a movie and you're laughing together. You know, a stage show. I, I don't like handing out the DVDs so much. They're out there. What, what I, when somebody comes to me and says, oh, I've seen eight in a row, but I have, I have to be out of town this year, then I don't mind handing them a DVD and right, they can watch right. the show. But if that's your first entree of watching The Follies, I always uh, cringe a little because it's just not the same energy as sitting in the audience with yeah, 319 sure. other uh, Parkites. That and it's packed. It. Oh, yeah. It's, we sell out. Uh, we Are you totally sold out already? I don't think so. We usually sell out about a week before. Um, because, you know, a lot of procrastinators around here, but sure. uh, it's, um, I think we've sold out probably now almost 10 years now. That's and great. it's nine That's so shows great. every year. Nine. Now we're at nine. I think we're going to try and stay at nine. Um, and yeah, we sell out and, and Feral Club. And, you know, what some of the neat things is Park Record has sponsors, sponsored us every single year. This is the 18th year of the Follies, started in 2001. Um, we've made fun of when Vale came to town, when the <laughs> hospital was new, the end of the world in 2012, when Weilandman and the private schools were in the news a lot. Right. Um, this year, it's a, a, a big part of it is about affordable housing and how um, difficult, funky, slash interesting that whole aspect. Yeah. You know, and it's a challenge to the town. We get it. We, um, we understand. But it, it pokes fun and kind of highlights those things that are that are obvious in a sense and, and um, can, you can laugh at kind of how. Well, and that's a, it occurs to me that that's a, that's a real challenge because it's like you have an opportunity because you can make light of some things, but you also have a responsibility to, I suppose, to, to treat uh, that topic, which for a lot of people isn't, there's no joking about it oh, at no. all. It's, it's a, a very real issue. It's is real lives we're yeah, dealing with. Yeah. Um, it's, it's kind of like, when you're under extreme stress and laughter are, helps, in a sense. Well and, said. And, and the word responsibility is a big one. We, we, always, um, we always say it's an honor to be spoofed in the Follies. We're not a... Yeah, for um, sure. We're not a... Um, we're not, we don't jam people or, oh no, they're gonna, they're gonna really hit me in the Follies. Skewer. Man. Right, and, we, we've, and, and we're real careful to also po portray people because they have lives in the community and stuff and we wanna make sure that we don't put out like, oh, I didn't know he was that or did that. Or, you know, we're very careful on how, on how we do that. And, you know, EATS, the, the program for nutrition in the elementary schools, they, we were going to do a spoof video. And they came to us a couple weeks afterwards and said, you know, we laughed that when you did a video of us, we said, oh, we've finally made it. The right. Follies is doing a video of us. So we take, it's... It's not like a Saturday Night Live where you're like, oh, what are they going to do to a political figure or someone that made a right. mistake or, right. you know, how people are under such microscopes. No, it's, it's more of like you're such a great entity or person in town. We want to we want to um, enrich that in a sense and highlight that. Or so the Follies takes on a very um, it, it, I always my f favorite phrase is that comedy is serious business. And yeah, it, it really said. is. Uh, yeah. You, you have to take, to, to accomplish something that seems light and airy and comedic, really takes a certain um, dedicated effort to do that. Yeah. It's not just something that, oh, let's just throw this together and see And it's what a happens. tone, it's a point of view. Uh, I think in the end, the thing that really makes it work actually is kindness. Because as long as you're not skewering somebody, you're not sending somebody up in a way that We should is have you write our PR. <laughs> you have all the right words and all the right ideas. I've got words, people. <laughs> Well, it's going to be another fantastic year, and congratulations on a, a wonderful run. And I guess we actually, before we go, uh, the, the we our computer is working. We're ready okay. to go. We've got some video, so hold and Paul Tan's follies. Dial a ride bus three days in advance. 
Uber has strict rules about having your water break in the car. You'd get a one-star rating as a passenger. Yeah, yeah, maybe she could get off at the Yarrow and then transfer. No, you know what? That's still not going to get her anywhere close to the hospital. No, no, never mind that. She's having a baby any second. Oh, oh OK. Passengers, I'm sorry. We're going to have to uh, extend our stop here for a moment and welcome an unexpected passenger to the bus. Uh, sorry for the inconvenience. All right, birth and kick, seat seven, next to the tow chain. All right, and uh, Mordecai, you got the uh, circumcision kit, just in case? OK. Oh, uh, yeah. That was a couple years ago. It's yeah, that's we, great. The transit system and sure. the buses and the free buses. A, a, great, a great story about that clip. At the end of the show, people didn't know this, but we got a permit to park a full city bus right in front of the Egyptian. And part of the joke was that nobody rides the bus, even though they're free and they circle us all the right. time. And we said, and it was free tours. If you've never been on one, you can come out of the Egyptian after the show and take a free tour of the bus. So it was, um, we try <laughs> and great. add those little uh, nuances to it. And That's the, great. The, we had a, a skit in the beginning where the bus drivers actually danced and sang. And we had a pre-show before the show even opened on a Thursday where we invited all the transit people. We had about 100 people in an audience of a non-show, all bus people that would normally probably not go to the show. Right, right. <clears throat> and they made a whole night of it. And um, it's how we can try a little bit to bring the community together. And uh, that was a real, that was a neat year for, for some of those aspects. That's really cool. Yeah. Well, I'm excited. Tell folks where they can get information and tickets. All through um, the Egyptian, parkcityshows.com, or calling the box office direct. Um, I think it's, I'm, I'm going to say the phone number wrong, so I'm not going to. Parkcityshows.com. Uh, yeah, Google the Egyptian Theater. Exactly, Everybody knows where that's exactly, at. Or stop exactly. it. And um, it is April 20th through the 29th. So a few Fridays away. Yeah. We're getting there. We're right on track for where we need to be. Um, we're Very getting cool. the cast together. We have did a read through. and. We're gearing up, so and it's so much fun for us. We have more fun than the audiences. I almost feel bad saying right, that. Right, right. That, that's really. <laughs> it, we wouldn't do it if it's it, a labor if we of love. But and it is an Egyptian fundraiser, after all. They've right. produced it essentially since right. the very first year when it didn't make any money. Right. For the first few years, when only half the theater would be filled on two nights, right. and they stuck with it. And look um, where it is now. And look where it is now. It's a fundraiser for them, and we couldn't be happier for that. And it's very cool. uh, it's, it has just great aspects to it. It's so great. Well, it's a, it's a lovely thing that you do for the community. I know it's a great effort for you, and we sure appreciate it. We look forward to it every year. And say hello to your lovely wife, Peg, if I you will. would be so kind. I will. And it's always great to see you, Paul. Thanks, Thanks. so Thanks, much Terry. for stopping by. You're I'll welcome. talk to you soon. Thanks. It is the Park City Follies. Paul Tan is a driving force in this excellent community theater romp. It's a ton of fun. ParkCityShows.com, the Egyptian Theater. It's coming up in April. Get your tickets because they will sell out. Quick break. We'll come back and close the hour right after this.